Hey, this is Brian from DisableMyCable.com, and today I'm going to tell you how to remove a hard drive from an Amazon Fire TV recast and use it with a Tableau DVR. Stay tuned. Okay, so the first question you probably have is, why would anyone want to remove a hard drive from a perfectly good Amazon Fire TV recast? and basically destroy the unit. Well, here's what happened to me. Um, a few months ago, I found out that Amazon was discontinuing the recast. Now, that doesn't mean it won't work. It'll still work, you can still use it, and you should still use it. It's, it's a great DVR, I actually really liked it. Um, but for me, I, I also use the Tableau, so I was using that for most of my recordings, so I didn't need mine. So I decided to sell mine on eBay. To my surprise, uh, people were willing to pay over $200 for a 500 gigabyte uh, recast, which is like almost what I paid for it. So um, it was fetching a really good price on eBay. I sold it, I sent it out, and when the person got it, it didn't work. Uh, probably the power supply went bad, it just didn't power up. <clears throat> they sent it back to me. I was stuck with a unit that was basically a brick, and um, the, the light didn't even go on. From there, I was like, well, what can I do with this? So I started investigating um, how to open one up. There's no visible screws, so it looks kind of like, you know, hard to open, but, but actually, um, I'm gonna show you how to open it up in a second here. I decided to gut it and just see what was inside and see what I could salvage. Now, like I said, you shouldn't need to do that. Uh, your unit uh, should still work uh, right now, but, it's not going to work forever. Amazon has said that they will uh, support security updates through 2026, but who knows how long they will support bug fixes and other updates and the, the um, channel guide. If that goes away, boy, this is going to be uh, uh, lose a lot of utility. So that was another reason why I wanted to sell mine is because it was going for such high prices and it's not gonna be like that forever. Once stuff starts breaking, this is gonna be a brick, literally, okay? <clears throat> so I decided to sell mine. Uh, it's still usable today, but it won't be usable um, probably in a matter of years coming, coming up. And maybe at that time, more people will be watching this video to try to figure out what to do with their uh, useless um, recast units. Uh, but in my case, mine broke, so that's why I decided to gut it. So let's talk about how to uh, remove the hard drive. So I've already gutted my unit, but I kind of put some pieces back together to show you guys. The, um, like I said, there's no visible screws, so it's kind of, you wonder how, how do you take this thing apart? Well, the answer is that you actually have to peel away uh, this rubber foot from just the corners. You don't have to peel it completely off just the corners to reveal a screw, which you can see there. And you just unscrew it in four places. Do it on all four corners. And once you do that, the foot will come right off. Let's do this. Yeah, there we go. The foot will come right off. Okay. Inside the unit, you'll see the circuit board. And this is probably the hardest part of the whole thing is getting this enclosure out of the box, okay? And what you have to do, I've, I've already done it, but what you have to do is you're gonna be pressing um, on two spots and sliding it, sliding it out. It's wedged in there pretty tightly, but you press on two points and slide out. And you might need to use a screwdriver or something. Once you do that, it's just free to move and you can just plop it right out of the enclosure like that. And so once once you get it out, it's just unscrewing parts. So I've already uh, unscrewed and taken off the fan. I'll probably use this uh, somewhere else. Uh, it says it's a 12 volt. I'm sure it's a standard uh, PC fan, all right? And that comes off right off the top here, these, these blue posts. Um, inside here was the hard drive. And again, it's just four screws. It's, it's really easy to take out. And you just unplug a cable and you'll get the uh, the thing that we we're looking for, which is this 
hard drive. It's, it's a Western Digital 2.5 inch hard drive. Uh, in my case, it's 500 uh, gigabytes. You might have a one terabyte drive, which might make this even more worthwhile. I want to talk about this hard drive some more for a second because it's not uh, a regular hard drive exactly. I mean, it is in that you could use it in a laptop or plug it into a computer and it'll work fine. I actually did that with a Mac and it worked great. So um, if you want to stick it in a, uh, a laptop that has a two and a half inch drive, uh, that's one thing you could do with this, okay? But uh, I said this was special because it is an, actually a uh, what Western Digital calls a um, digital video drive, which means it's optimized for uh, stream storing uh, HD video. And the spec sheet says it can it can uh, uh, capture up to twelve simultaneous uh, high definition audio streams, and it's designed to be uh, durable and reliable uh, um, under continuous operation and have low heat. So it really is perfect for a DVR. So it just, it totally makes sense to remove this from an Amazon, Amazon Fire TV recast and put it in or use it with a Tableau or another DVR because this drive is optimized for that purpose. Okay, so you've got the hard drive out, which is what we're after. Pretty much the rest is, is easy. Um, now I actually happen to have a two and a half inch hard drive caddy made by Sabrent. Uh, now this exact model is no longer available, but I'll leave a link in the description with um, other another model that will work fine. These are available on Amazon. There's tons of them. They cost about $12. And they're, they're standard drives that work with Mac or PC. And they're, they're, uh, they're very common. So get yourself one of these on Amazon and what you'll get is um, a caddy and a cover. That's what the, the unit looks like. And now I recommend getting one that has a metal container. I like having that shielding since this is gonna be right next to an antenna. It opens up uh, through four screws on the sides. So just unscrew those tiny screws. You might need a small screwdriver. And then you take your hard drive, okay? And basically just slide it in there uh, let me angle it. There we go. Okay. You basically slide it in, pop it in, and then slide it down and make sure it makes a good connection here. Yeah. So now it's in my caddy. I actually put some foam in it just to make sure it holds tightly. And then what you do is just screw the cover on. Now you have a portable hard drive that you can use with any uh, computer that has a USB port. And you could just stop here. You could just use this as to store photos or whatever, or backups, That's which is great. It turns out that you can also plug this right into your Tableau. And when I did that, um, it, it asked if I want to format it. I went through the formatting process and it showed up as a 500 gigabyte drive on my Tableau. Uh, and, it, and I've been testing it for the last uh, two days. I've been doing heavy recording on it and it works absolutely great. Now, another cool thing about using this with the Tableau uh, compared to the other drive I was using is that this does not require an external power supply. You can have power coming right through USB and it'll work. Um, so that's, that's a big plus. It's a lot cleaner, it's a lot neater, it's quieter, and it runs cooler than the huge hard drive I had in there. It's still a spinning hard drive. It's still a physical uh, hard drive that's rotating. It's not an SSD, but it is quieter than the five and a quarter inch drive that I had in there that I was using with this. And like I said, no power supply. So it's just a lot neater. I love it. Uh, I think it's great. Like I said, you can just use this alone with your computer if you want, but it's really optimized for high definition uh, streaming. So, so why not use it for the purpose it was built for? And like I said, uh, if you can uh, still use your uh, recast, that's great. Go ahead and still use it. But uh, there will be a day when it becomes a brick. So keep this video in mind. Maybe bookmark it for that day 
when stuff starts breaking on your uh, recast, bring up this video and you can find some new life for the hard drive. That was it. I hope this video was helpful to you or entertaining. Please uh, like or subscribe to this channel and check out my blog, disablemycable.com. Thanks a lot.